What's up? Mike Stadler here. Carl Bathke behind the camera today for some of it. We are back on the BMR, my property here. It is July 16th, I believe. Um, really kind of in a nice, nice spot for us. Um, we've been doing nothing but work since March, so we're kind of in a just getting towards the end of the stuff we need for bow season. So we're at my place today, uh, finishing up. We gotta switch out a couple stands with some new stands. There's a couple moves we want to make, uh, a couple more little trimmings, and uh, you know, bow ropes, pack hangers, stuff like that. Bow hangers. We want to make sure all those are done. Um, so we're starting down here today. This would be my level one. We always talk about levels on our properties. This is my level one. Um, this is a ladder that we put in real early here. Straight back out in front of me here and behind Carl is where we have one of our number one first kill plot inside the corn, which is all buckwheat right now. Um, and some of the replanted corn behind him, which I planted actually Father's Day. So corn's coming up, buckwheat's coming up for our cover crop for when we do our brassicas. So uh, pull up ropes, bow hangers, pack hangers, all that kind of stuff. We're just going to go around and hit every stand today. So July 16th. Hey everybody, welcome to the Obsession Podcast. Uh, back here on my land today in central Wisconsin. We were at Carl's Land yesterday moving stands and getting stuff ready. So I got to do some of that today. I got my buddy Greg's going to help me. Um, so we're starting on the bottom of my property. This is we always lay these out in levels like we say. This is kind of where my second level starts as we start to come up my main trail where it goes up my ridge. Um, behind me here, you can see this is a trail that I cut in um, last year. This runs to an inside corner of a, the CRP field of the neighbors. Um, I get a lot of bucks tracking back and forth through here. Straight behind the camera then is uh, my big corn field and my, where my brassica plots will be this winter. So. Um, I got a mock scrape that we hung probably 30 yards from here last year. Didn't get a lot of action because they were all down here. And then I have a stand right here 20 yards to my right. So we're going to move this mock scrape in over this big trail here. And then do a little adjusting of shooting lanes and then we're going to move on from there. So we moved this mock scrape. This was, like I said, about 25, 30 yards from here. Moved it down on this main trail that I put in to this inside corner back here. Um, you always want to remember you want to have these at like waist height um, so that every deer can hit them and leave their scent on them. So I hung this one a little lower because you got to remember when the leaves come off, the branch is going to pick up a little bit. So no scent on this, it's already got scent on it. We made sure we only touched the top, which that'll all wash off here eventually before season. But we got this one going. Nice trail here. Every deer is going to hit this that comes through here. And now we're just going to clean up a little bit on this stand. Well, this is. This is my, would be like my level two actually coming in. This just starts to come up the ridge. This is the bottom side of the ridge where it starts to slope up. Um, this is a trail right here off to my left that I cut in um, and it goes right to an inside corner, which is actually the neighbor's inside corner, but the deer funnel in out of the CRP. Um, and I had hoped when I cut this in, I gave them a path to follow, which they took and they love it. So. Colin and I put a mock scrape up here last year because there's a pretty heavy trail up above this stand right up here behind me. Um, I did set the stand a few times last year, saw a lot of deer. Um, all of them were down here though. Yeah. So we took that mock scrape a couple weeks ago and I moved it down here on this main trail, trimmed up this stand so we could shoot it. We left it hang now and uh, Carl was saying we should probably trim it off a little bit because it didn't spring up quite as high as I wanted it to, you know, because we always want about that hip ish hip waist high so this is one we're going to pop a camera on here probably in the next day or two and start seeing what's so, happening this would be basically level three of my property this is on the top of the ridge um, this is a stand that carl and i put in last year i never hunted it um, there's a water hole up here which i wanted to check i've never added water to it it is full at the top along with another one just down the ridge um, I, I wanted to move this stand, but it's just such a good spot, especially during rut. I think I'm going to leave it. I'm cleaning it up a little bit. 
I'm gonna pop a camera up here in a couple weeks, but we're cleaning out this water hole. There's obviously been passed in uh, from, <coughs> excuse me, from north to south. <coughs> Mosquitoes. <coughs> and also a big trail uh, <coughs> coming out of the west side of it. <coughs> I'm dying. So uh, we're going to clean this up a little bit. I have a mock scrape um, that is hanging down here <coughs> about 20 yards. I'm going to pull that down. I think we're going to switch it on the other side of the trail. Um, just see what happens. So I'm going to try not to die. Same Show you a minute. This water hole, uh, my level three on top of my ridge. Uh, stand that Carl and I put up last year, I left it. We moved it just a little bit. Um, trim some stuff up. This water hole has been getting used a ton. Um, this trail runs east-west. It's just, it's a natural corridor for movement. So we rehung the mock here. If you look straight up there is our tree stand. Um, we're about 15, 18 yards from that mock. And then straight up here about 25 yards is the water hole. So we just repositioned this a little bit. This mock was about 30 yards down that way. So we move it up here. Um, good trail coming up off this the bottom of this ridge, which would be my level four coming up and over. So we're gonna pop a camera on here and just see if this gets more activity this year because I know during the rut that these bucks run this ridge. I've watched them do it. So I think just a little tweaking on this stand. We're gonna try it here again yet this year. Um, this bedding was new last year, so now it's got a year on it. So we're gonna give her a shot uh, on to the next one. So again, level three. This is a stand I call the Y stand. Um, straight off to my right here is the top of my ridge again. Uh, a lot of TSI and hinge cutting done here two years ago. Um, pretty thick, small little bedding area here. I have a uh, water hole that I dug in over here last year. It's full on its own naturally, which is good. Um, stand is literally straight up here about 15 yards off this trail. Well, last year we had a mock hung here. Didn't get a lot of uh, hits on it. Uh, the camera is actually on another trail. That's why we call this a Y. They seemed to follow that trail more because at the end of this trail, again, east-west trail, um, is my clover plot and the campsite plot. So we're gonna take, we took this mock, mock scrape down. Uh, it, was, it was right here. We're gonna move it actually over on this east-west trail. Um, again, stand right here. We're gonna clean a little bit of stuff up so we can shoot, we can actually shoot this trail. We can shoot the other trail here, and then the water hole again is out to this other side that we can also shoot. Uh, good rut stand, like I said, they run this ridge top. Um, the structure is there, it's a white tail. They like to stay up top where they can catch everything. So we're gonna move it, pop a camera up on it, and see what it does later. This mock that we moved probably 25 yards now. Um, you see it's a little bit below my waist, about perfect. It will drop a little bit once these leaves come off. Again, this is an east-west trail um, promoting east-west movement on this property, same as like what we do on Carl's. So move this out here, say a stand is 15 yards straight off this trail to the north, east-west trail, um, top of the ridge, water hole. So we're gonna trim this up a little bit here, move down to the campsite plot, pop a camera on this thing in about two weeks. We're up here now. This is kind of what I consider my level three because now we're on the top of my ridge. Um, one of the highest points in the county actually. And this is an east-west trail, which is how we're pro uh, promoting our deer movement. This mock, I showed it. Uh, Carl, I'll show you the footage of early. I moved this a couple weeks ago. It was back here around the corner. Um, straight off this way is some bedding that we put in. This is kind of like a saddle area that we wanted to hunt last year. Um, I had to stand right here originally. We moved the mock out here, started to clear this out. Well, it's like a sore thumb once we got done. So I came back up here last week and I moved the stand. It's actually back up here in, in between these two trees, tucked in pretty nice. Um, we're trying to promote, like I said, this east-west movement. They run this ridge a lot, um, especially during the rut. Um, 
So mock shave out here, you can shoot, you can shoot to the west, you can shoot to the east, you can shoot back up this trail, and there's actually a water hole just up here too that we put in um, last year that you can actually see. So we're gonna see what happens. Another one, like I said, we're gonna pop a camera up here. This is a, my main trail now behind Carl and the camera is uh, the campsite food plot, we call it, where we have another stand in too. So this is a really heavily traveled trail and we're gonna see what happens with it. What's going on? We are down on the bottom here now. This would be like my level four. Um, we're on the north side of my top ridge down in this bottom. Um, off to the west here to my right is where did a lot of, um, not the last, not last winter, but the winter before we did a lot of bedding improvements, another seven acres of bedding improvements. Um, TSI, hinge cutting, everything is done to this side. Now this is year two on this, so this is really thickened up and grown. You know, we opened the canopy up. Well, I popped a stand in down here last year. There's a, my little pond is right below me, which has been kind of dry this year, but um, things have kind of changed now as we talk about all the time. You gotta adapt to your land, so um, I wanted to move this stand. We put in a bunch of these pines. This is kind of blocking and structure for us to get in and out of here. Um, you know, it kind of blocks uh, open areas where they can see how that bedding once the leaves start to fall. So we're going to pull this stand up here behind me and put it back up here in this red oak, um, which up here behind Carl is where the trail comes down out of the campsite plot. We're going to move a mock. We're going to have to do a little work to get that done because we don't have anything hanging over the trail where we want it, but um, it's a stand that we can get into in the morning. Um, cover up high, cover down low. Um, trails that come off of this late rut, you're still set back in here and it's an easy in and out quiet off this trail. So we're gonna do that and then we'll show you once we get it up. I don't wanna drop it, that's a new stand last year. I got it. I mean, I would have. I know. I would have if I had to. <laughs> They keep working at it, but they keep giving me this old one. I went this morning and worked on it again, and it got weaker, I think. Oh, <laughs> uh, shit. Remember when we used to have like two sections of this and get 20 feet in a tree? Oh, I know. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Don't worry about it. <laughs> right, Forget about it. So here's that stand <laughs> we were just talking about. Um, my level four. Uh, straight up here is where that campsite plot is again, we said. Nice big red oak here where this trail is tapering down. Just up this trail, we just cleared a little spot. It's where there's a real nice, it's a faint trail, but it's actually <coughs> a heavy buck trail. Um, I've had a lot of big bucks circle back through this uh, area. So we're gonna get a mock hung up probably 25 yards from me-ish. Um, got this real big tree for backdrop. This is all bedding off to my right to the west here that we can see. Um, so you'll really be able, this would be a nice tree after that October 20 date. Start doing a little calling, watching. You should be able to pick them up. So we will get a camera popped up on this mock too once we get that done. Check it out. All right, we are in what I like to call level five of my property. If we do it in levels, this is the very bottom um, big kill plot. This is an acre plot that I cleaned off when I bought this property. Um, I've actually killed four bucks out of this property and they are all out of this, this exact stand, which is good, but we have a lot of other good spots we're hoping to utilize. Um, all we're doing with this one, I put a new stand in. The stand that was in here is getting old, so I wanted to change it out, make sure everything was safe. Um, where Carl's standing right now, where the camera is, we redesigned this plot. We put kind of a, almost a triangle piece of cornfield in behind him, and then it's all buckwheat around. So we're trying to make the, the bucks come. They come from either end, or they come from the very bottom, straight behind the camera to the north. And we want to make them come up 
and have to come around this corn um, no matter which side they're on so that they have to see what's over there. Um, in doing that we have a stand south, east and west of this plot. Um, very huntable for most winds. This is one we don't come down here until October 20 or later unless all of a sudden we have something pop on the camera. Mock scrape about 18 yards probably to my left, to the west. Um, we're going to clean some of this out. Um, this will be an area where, like I said, where Carl's standing, where the camera is, that we put our brassicas in underneath this buckwheat. Um, water hole also right behind the camera that we just put in this year. Um, very productive stand, obviously my favorite spot. So we're going to do a little trimming so that we can shoot down to this corner in this mock. Here we are. This is my level five, like I said before, my bottom big kill plot that I cleaned out like four years ago. This will be five years, I think. Um, we swapped this stand out before we showed, uh, did some clearing out for this mock that's right here where they come out of the bedding. Um, you just zoom back off of that stand there on that west end. Um, that corner, that actually borders a the cornfield there. Um, inside edge where they follow up bedding where they come out. I've had a cup, two of my biggest bucks have basically come in and out of that corner all seasons. Um, one of them is gone, the other one is still here. So like you see now, Carl zoomed back from the stand, you can see that stand. Now you can actually shoot out into this corner, but you're still tucked way back up in there with good cover. So this is all done down here. Um, we won't be doing any more work down here except our brassicas. So cleared out good, done. Probably won't be in here again after that until late October. So we're gonna head up. And you know, we got a couple other stands just to switch out. Um, and then we're pretty much calling it good here. So be with you shortly. There you go. We're here in the, we this level one, our lower plot, big corn field, middle, this is our middle kill plot. Um, just to the west here, goes straight up to that campsite plot that we showed you a ton of times, the chute I call it. So that's a big travel corridor up and out, down here into this, which will be brassica plot. So most of the corn's pretty good. Some of it's a little spotty, but it's gonna, like I said, it'll do what we want it to do which is create structure and segregate our deer into different plots. So um, all we're doing here is you know, stand straight up behind me. Um, I don't like the stand. It's just old and small platformed and the seat's uncomfortable. I mean, other than that, it's great. But so we're going to put a new stand up there, something a little more comfortable to sit in. Must be nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's a small platform, uncomfortable seat. Other than that, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> must be nice. You tell everybody that. how nice it must be. Uh, it must be nice. Right. <laughs> that, that sucked. I already had that up once, but it was terrible. I don't know who put it up. Stevie Wonder. It was crooked. You couldn't sit in it. You couldn't even look at it without falling out of it. So I don't know really how I got up there, but I took these buck steps out because they suck. I'm going to put a ladder up into it. Now it's at least straight. I had tree steps. I don't know. It was, you know, it was a hang and bang type thing. Middle of the season. I got an idea. It didn't work. But it's a good spot now. It wasn't a good spot last year. It's a good spot now. I was pre-planning last year. Right.
thing they make them lightweight. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah, buddy. What do you think there, shooter? Shooter. <laughs> so, this was the first stand that we drove to this morning. Um, level one, first plot inside corner. Um, we have ladder actually in the east end of this. And then this tree stand I actually had here for several years, but we turned it around, swung it this way, put this plot in, turned the sticks around. Um, reinvented the wheel Had to cut a couple more branches, but now this is up and solid. It's a real nice muddy stand with a mesh seat and everything so One other branch we have cut that's got to come down yet, but obviously mock scrape right here July 16th almost time to start getting some cameras up and see what happens. Stick around 